Okay, let's talk all things tech because this is one of the most popular questions that I get all the time. I have accumulated so many things when it comes to tech, it's insane. I don't use my iPhone to take photos anymore. Why would I? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just... <sighs> So I'm making this comprehensive video so that my answers are all in one place. Let's go. definitely trimmed down the number of devices that I use, I feel, because for a while it was trying to figure things out. And honestly, that's just how it is as a content creator. You've got to figure things out, trial and error, you upgrade, you downgrade, you change, you know, and the whole nine yards. When I think about the camera that I use the most, this camera that I'm filming on right now is my Canon 90D. I've had this, what, two years now? It's a 4K camera. I love it. It is fantastic. I used to have the Canon T6i. I had that for a very long time. And what I did was I upgraded the lens, not the camera, but the lens to the Sigma 50 millimeter lens. And then I also purchased the Sigma 35 millimeter lens. And I was interchanging those on the Canon T6i. So if you have an older camera, feel free to just change the lens because you will certainly see a difference in your video quality by just changing the lens. But if you have some more money that is set aside and you wanna invest in your business, then changing your actual camera will most definitely make a huge difference because there are Sigma lenses that are fitted to this camera. I can certainly use my Sigma 50 millimeter and the 35 on this camera, but I don't because those are fixed lenses. I wanted a lens that I could zoom in and zoom out with. And that's why I purchased the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens, which is this one that I'm filming on right now. So with the 35 millimeter lens, it is stuck at 35, which is fine for portraits, pictures, being out, what have you. But when it comes to me filming in my bathroom, for instance, that I need the lens that's gonna zoom out out to show more of my space because in my bathroom, I'm literally this close to my camera, right? So if you see my videos in the bathroom, it's obviously in the bathroom, I am this close to the camera. But then here in the studio, I can step back a little bit and there's still some area above my head. Or if I wanted to, I could really step back and then zoom in, right? Or if I zoom in and I'm here, you can really see real close, okay? And then I zoom all the way out. So I love having this lens because it gives me more flexibility depending on what I am filming and where. So for instance, I will normally turn this vertical and then use it in the living room to shoot try on hauls or reels if I feel like using this actual camera. It just gives me the ability to do different things. I usually just use this lens when I'm using this camera. Two months ago, last month, one of, one of those, I upgraded and added on to my arsenal an additional camera. So I have a second camera, which is the Canon R6. Now that one is just Ah, it makes me so happy. I was actually contemplating getting either the R6 or the R5 and they, they're different. And the R5 would require all new accessories, SD cards, plugs, batteries, the whole nine yards. And I hated that. I wanted to stick with what I have because if you can imagine as a content creator over the past 10 or so years, I have accumulated so many things when it comes to tech, it's insane. So I just needed some continuity and the R6 was perfect. It's a smaller camera, which I love. And then with it, I'm using the Canon 50 millimeter lens. Now, if you you noted earlier, I, for a while, was only using these Sigma lenses, which are fantastic, right? So my girlfriend got this first and she was like, yo, it's bomb. And the Canon lens works great with it. So I got that and it's because it's shorter, it fits better into my purses, my totes, whatever it is that I have with me when I'm out and about. So now when I go out, I can get quality, quality footage to make reels and I can get quality photos. I don't use my iPhone to take photos anymore. Why would I? You know what I'm saying? I, when I'm out, have this normally in my tote. I love using a tote. Okay, and then I can flip the screen out. I even have a try. We're not going to tripods right now, but I'll link the one that I have that I use for when I'm out and about. Okay, I'll also link the one that I have you on right now. Oh, and while I'm here, I'll link the mic, the whole nine yards. Okay, but this is more so the camera and the lenses. I know, I know, it's a lot. Okay, so this is just so good because of course it has the flip out screen and this is shoots in 4K. 50 mil is really good for being close up, and then 35 gives you more space from the subject. So I got the 35 millimeter lens, which is a Canon lens for this camera. Cause in my mind, it's like, I just wanted to have the lenses for the 90D and the lenses for the R6. I just don't want to be switching and moving. It's just too much. So I'd never take this off this lens right here. And the 50 mil is the one I use all the time. Actually, I bought the 35 millimeter lens for the R6 for when I travel and I want to do a YouTube video because that'll give me more space. It'll be more pushed out. I think that there's an 18 or maybe a 16 millimeter lens 
that can go on the R6, but I didn't feel like getting that. Like how many times am I filming a YouTube video in a hotel? So the 35, I feel like will suffice. Cause what will happen is when I'm in a hotel room, this is what the 35 will look like. And I'll simply need to make sure that I'm maybe this far back if I wanna get this part of my body in the frame. But honestly and truly, if I'm doing a makeup video or a skincare video in a hotel, I'll just heighten up the stand or push down my chair. And this really will suffice if I'm in a hotel. You feel what I'm saying? So the 35, I just felt like it just made more sense. I didn't, I needed the 35. It just makes sense. So that's why I have those lenses. So if you think about it, I've now got five lenses, two that I don't use, one that is for travel and two that I use every single day. <laughs> Again, an accumulation of tech because as the life that I live as a creator, if you're a creator, you, you get it. Like you just get it and that's just how it is. Having two cameras has been a game changer. You feel me? I use this, like I said, mainly to shoot reels, take product shots. The 50 is brilliant for product shots. The bokeh, the depth of field, the background being blurred, the subject being in focus closest to the camera, chef's kiss. It is just delicious. I love using that camera for that. Of course, I could take down this lens and put my 50 millimeter lens onto this and get the same quality, but why when I have a second camera? And that's why I wanted to get a second camera. You feel me? In the bathroom, I use an Amazon ring light. I've had this for years and it works wonders. I've also changed out my light bulbs in the bathroom to daylight bulbs. That makes a huge difference. Change out them orange bulbs, put in some white daylight bulbs. It makes a huge difference. And then I have the ring light, which is usually right behind the camera. It it just helps to, you know, it helps my face to glow. But right now, right now, which is what I do a lot of the other time too, and I'm not in the bathroom, I'm using daylight. There's no other camera on. In fact, I didn't put on the back lights because if I did, it would make the front of this view look different. So none of those lights are on. All I'm using is this huge window in front of me. In fact, I'm at an angle in front of the window. So really, if I wanted to be directly in front of the window, this is what this would look like. And then you have the light coming from here to here. Okay, but I just like to be at an angle, just a smidge to get that pompous grass in the shot, you feel me? So I just do this. Normally I would light that candle, but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, okay? But yeah, I've been doing a lot of daylight filming and when I look back at it, I like it. I like it a lot. I used to really be into all the LED lights. I've been giving it away. I got two sitting right here, I'm gonna give away. I, I'm just, <sighs> but I can't lie. I did purchase another light. It's a soft light. It's it's needed. Cause I was watching a video and I was like, I need that. Like I'm consolidating my, my stash, okay? So rather than having four LED lights right here with the window, I now have this one humongous expensive soft box light that I still need to put together that I will use as needed. And I got that to use when I need it. Like if it's a cloudy day or whatever, but really and truly I love to shoot during the daytime, not in the middle of the night. And I love to use the daylight, it's free. Now to edit my videos, there are three options that I use. First is Final Cut Pro. That's what I use all the time. I learned myself while looking at YouTube videos. Honestly, self-taught, I just figured it out. And when I can't figure something out, I go find it out. It's on YouTube, yo. Just like this video's on YouTube showing you what I use, I watch other folks and they tell us how they do stuff on Final Cut Pro. So I used to use the free version back in the day. Remember how people used to show you how to get Final Cut Pro for free? Mm -hmm. I had that for several years until I had upgraded my desktop and then the upgraded desktop version could not work with the old version of Final Cut Pro. So I had to buy it. And at that time I had the money, praise God, so I bought it. But when I first got Final Cut Pro, I didn't have $200 to go pay for this thing. So I just was bootlegging it and it worked. <laughs> iMovie is fine, but I just feel like iMovie is antiquated. But I do know that folks still use iMovie. It is very simple. I love Final Cut. I really, really do, okay? And then I use InShot when on my phone in editing or on my iPad in editing. So if you saw in my weekly vlog, one of which I showed you how I edit a reel in InShot, it's pretty simple as well. I say simple because I learn tech things really easily. You might find it to be difficult and I don't want to discuss count that or discredit that, but I've done it for so long and I, I pick up on things fast. So for me, it is pretty simple. With the InShot app, I do have the pro version so that I'm not getting that logo on my videos, not interested. So I can't remember how much it costs, but I have paid for that. And I believe it renews every single year, but InShot on the phone and the iPad, and then Final Cut Pro either on my desktop or my MacBook Air. And then I recently discovered CapCut. Honey, I was like, hold on. Because when I started seeing captions become more and more 
widely used on reels. I was like, hold on a second. You have to be smart. You have to get on stuff quickly. So I was on TikTok and I kept seeing edited by CapCut. I'm like, what is this? I clicked on it and then it took me to the app. I downloaded it and I saw that that's how you can add captions to your videos. I was dumbfounded. But I downloaded CapCut for Sheezy and that's what I use to add easy, to easily add captions to my reels. And when I say reels, I repurpose them to shorts and TikTok. Now, I don't add captions to my YouTube videos because YouTube can YouTube can do that for you. You just press the CC, right? But when it comes to the other videos, for sure a cap cut. And then you can choose the style, the animation, all of this and all of that. But I keep my captions real simple, real aesthetic, and I just call it a whole entire night. So I hope that, that answered all your questions when it comes to the tech and some of the accessories that I use. I mean, not like all the devices, but you know, the main devices that I use to create content on a day-to-day -day basis. If there are any questions that I did not answer, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.